God bless you saints and thank you for coming. I want to really welcome you with open hearts and I want to show you something that God is doing in our lives even today of what he actually what he's done for the believers through the ages and what he's doing for us even now. We're talking about the theophany body and we 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 established in part one or the introduction to the theophany body we establish all is regarding God's love for us. Um, nothing happens. Um, God is a manifestation of love. Jesus Christ is a manifestation of love. God Himself is love. Amen. And God, nothing that God ever done or ever will do is in contrast to love. Amen. Is that a love for His creation, love for His children? Um, even the destruction of Satan will be the manifestation of love. Love for his creation and love for his children. Amen. So everything that God does is love. The, the, whole, um, the whole revelation of God is a revelation of Jesus Christ. If God can reveal to us Jesus Christ, then God has revealed himself to us. Anytime you look into the scriptures, as I said in part, um, in the introduction to the theophany, um, anytime you look into the scriptures, look for Jesus Christ. Don't look for yourself, don't look for someone else, look for Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ is, is the whole revelation, is a revelation of Jesus Christ, is a revelation of who God is. And God tabernacle himself in, in Jesus Christ, which is, a, which is the word body which is a man, is a person, um, God indwell that person. And that person is Jesus Christ. That person is a man, just like me and you. He was made from the Word of God. He actually had his theophany body, which we bypass, as we've established in the scriptures, um, and uh, sorry, as we established in the message. Uh, but Adam said, we bypass on theophany. So we want to look at his body that God had prepared for us, Jesus Christ said it in, in, in the word, a body has thou prepared me. And that's the same thing we see today, a body has thou prepared me. He's prepared for us a body. Jesus Christ came and manifested the full knowledge or the full word of God. God, a body is, 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 is the word made flesh. And he came and manifested fully on earth here. And then he gave us that body. But he gave us back. He gave us that body in the form of the word back today, again today. Amen. That that we saw that in the revelation of the Son of Man ministry through the prophet, we saw that word come back in its fullness. That is the Theophany body. Amen. But we're going to look at the Theophany body where, where it came from, um, what happened in the heavenly realms. I'm going to show you a mystery of God. This this whole thing is the mystery of God revealed. I'm not the one revealing it. It's already been revealed to the Son of Man ministry. I'm just here to, to break it down in a form of a teaching way so that you can be positioned in the body. Amen? It's the Holy Spirit that position the believers in the body. I'm not the Holy Spirit, I'm not Joshua, I'm none of the above. I'm just someone that God has, by His grace, shown me these things and positioned me in Himself. And how He did it is not by me looking for myself in Him, it's by me looking to see Him. It's by me keeping my eyes on Jesus Christ. If you keep your eyes on Jesus Christ, if you look for Him, if you search for Him, He will you will find him, and as he said to Abraham, he will be your exceedingly great reward. And the manifestation of that promise is that you'll be positioned in him. Amen. So it's a great revelation, and I hope you pay attention. I'm going to go this very slowly for you because I want every believer, every son of God, to see the position in Christ. Amen? To see the position in Christ. So the Holy Spirit is going to work with you and position you in the body. Amen? 
there's going to be a lot of overcoming to do there's going to be a lot of um, um, accepting and believing but if you can if you can just keep your eyes on him he's going to lead you through the Holy Spirit that you've received by receiving the Word of God that spirit is going to guide you into the Word and position in him amen God bless you saints we're going to go into something very good and very deep um, I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible amen I've done a lot of um, research uh, in terms of the word reading the word um, relying on the leadership of the Holy Spirit a lot of my thinkings and a lot of my thoughts that I had before I had to put them away put them aside to accept what God is saying regarding his body regarding the Theophany body and regarding our position in him amen praise his name so this topic we're going to be talking on we're going to start in here today we're going to be talking on the theophany body the word body and again i have a slight presentation for you it's going to highlight and to help to help you have a visual of what actually happened in the heaven it was a spiritual manifestation of what happened in god's mind it was literally a manifestation happening in God's mind and now we then it was made manifest physically and now it's made manifest on earth in us amen so it's three parts to this whole mystery and as the prophet said God has three Bibles he has one in the zodiac one in the pyramids and one the written word and this here this written word <coughs> has all the Word of God amen but in this Word of God there is different manifestation of unbelief we see Cain started from Cain um, um, Korah these um, different manifestation um, the guy who tried to kill Esther and the children of Israel all in all of these books you find there is manifestation of unbelief amen opposing what God is doing amen and what actually happened when God spoke his word God spoke his word pure so really and truly this Bible should be an account of only the sons of God his Bible should be an account of only the manifestation of God in his sons amen but this Bible now is tainted with the manifestation of unbelief and the opposition unbelief is the opposition of truth amen the lie is the truth perverted amen uh, adultery is the, is the right act perverted amen so Satan um, um, sin is unbelief is to come against what is truth come against what's God's word that is unbelief that is sin so sin in itself is not a concept sin is a sin is an opposition of truth amen so God didn't create sin God didn't create darkness God is light amen and we there is where there is no light there is darkness amen where the truth is perverted that is sin where the truth, where, where his word is come, where you come against God's word, when God say you're a son, and you 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 rely on knowledge of what you've done, and you you, you doubt God's word, that is a manifestation of unbelief. You don't believe what God is saying, Amen. So this book, this word of God, when it came out of the lo when it came out of the spirit of God as a logos, it was absolutely pure. But in at the process of creation, we found this word was tainted, and that's how we have the count. Uh, we have an account of unbelief in the word of God. This account would be written off; they would be wiped off. The names of them would be wiped off, because in this account we have the Lamb's Book of Life. In here we have the Lamb's Book of Life, who God has died for, uh, who God foreknew and died, paid his life for. This is the manifestation of the sons of God. Amen. Me and you. The manifestation of the sons of God. Amen. That is the Lamb's Book of Life. These person's name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life or the Lamb's section. It's in the whole book, 
but it's in the midst of the book. It's in the volume of the book. It's in Christ that he, he, the whole book is written of him. Amen. But in here is different accounts of unbelief. So that's why you have to search for him. Amen. And that's how his Holy Spirit leads you. And that's how you know the motive and objective of God. Not everything you read in here, that was God's original plan. Amen. What God's motive and objective is, is what his original plan was. For the sons of God, for himself to be made manifest. And himself is love. Amen. So praise be to God. So I'm going to show you now how the word of God came out of the spirit of God. And how that, that was made manifest. And how we came out of that logos. And how we be made manifest now. Amen. It's a great word. So to start off with, you might be wondering... Um, how does the Spirit speak? How does the Word come out of the Spirit? Um, I'm going to have some scriptures for that as well to, to basically just show you that the Spirit speaks. And we found in um, the Spirit sp spoke on the church, the seven churches of Asia, in, in, in the seven church ages. So the different angels, the Spirit spoke to them as well. The scripture said, the scripture recorded as a, the Spirit spoke. Amen. Um, and if we look at just to start off talking about the Spirit, how, how the Spirit spoke the Word. If we looked at John 4, 24, it says, God is Spirit. Amen. So God Himself is a Spirit. And they that worship Him must worship Him in Spirit and in Truth. Amen. And also we have the, the, um, the Spirit thinks. Um, and we can find that in Isaiah 55, 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways. So the Spirit has a mind, the Spirit thinks. Amen. And to confirm the Spirit has a mind, we look in Romans 8 27. And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit. Amen. So we find the Spirit has a mind. First, we find God is a Spirit and, and, and He has a mind. Um, and also the, the he has thoughts. <coughs> Excuse me. His thoughts are not our own thoughts. His thoughts are literally made manifest in a spiritual realm. So, in a in a particular dimension, or in a in a spiritual realm, his thoughts are made manifest. And I'm going to show you this more as we go to the presentation. So let's jump into the presentation, and I'm going to show you um, what we're talking about here, and, and so it'll be more explicit for you. Okay. Praise be to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Okay, great. Okay, great. So we've so talked about the often the word body, and this is an illustration of the manifestation of God, of God as, spirit. as spirit. Amen. So this is, so this is before creation. This is even before the logos. Amen. amen. This is in the mind of God, and this literally happened in a spiritual dimension, in a spiritual way, in a spiritual um, manifestation of God. So God thoughts literally happens. It doesn't. It's not. It's not imagination. It literally is made manifest as He thinks. Amen. And God, and God thoughts are eternal. eternal. They, they cannot, cannot be changed. Be changed. They, they, they remain fixed. fixed. Amen. They, Amen. They, 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 um, God, God thought is basically who he is, who he is be, be, made be made manifest, manifest in a spiritual realm. realm. Amen. Amen. God, God thought is his character or his, or his attributes be made, be made manifest. Amen. Amen. So we, so we first go go on, go on here, God, God and we we use, we use this illustration and get this God gimmick illustration to illustrate how God, how God was in spirit form. form. And this is, and this is the best best, best, best illustration that that that, um, that, that, that uh, I, can I can come up with. Come up with but. Uh, he's the one, he's the one to give it to me. Uh, and also, also Isaiah, Isaiah spoke of, um, one, of one of the prophets spoke about the, the, the wheel in the middle of the wheel. It looks, it like, looks that. like that. And, and but, um, but um, this is what he gave to me. Amen. Amen. So, so 
I'm going to describe, going to describe the different, different parts, of parts of this now. now. And, this and this is in eternity. eternity. And this is, this is where true justification, true justification comes in. Comes in. True, justification true justification comes in because you were literally in the mind of God, of God as an as attribute of God, of God as a part, as a part of, of His pure, pure attributes. attributes. So, God so God has many attributes. attributes. And we, and we found that these, that are, these the are the attributes of God, of God here. I'm going to describe them thus now. And this is, and this a, is mind a mind of God. And this, and this is, is a main attribute which is called love. This is, a this is the spirit of God. Of God. So, so I'm just going to go through for you one, one by one. So we have, so we have this being the spirit of God. Of God. And, this and this spirit of God has attributes as well. As well. It's, but Ryan said it expands the whole universe. So it takes over the whole universe, this spirit. And we, and we that found that the Spirit is everywhere, everywhere at the same time. Um, uh, it, it, um, it, knows it knows all, all things. things. So, this so this Spirit has attributes, attributes as well. But we're not, but we're not talking, talking about that. that. What we're looking at is what are, is what are the, the core attributes of the person of Jesus, the person of God, God. Amen. who he really is. is. So these, so these these, These attributes, attributes, attributes of the Spirit is good, is good but, you but you want to find out who God is, because, because who God is, is what you are. Amen? Amen? And so we're going, so we're going into that now. These are the These thoughts, are the thoughts of, God, of God, but they are actually called attributes, attributes, attributes of God. Of God. And this, and this part, part of his nature, nature part, of his, part of his co nature. nature. And these are, and these are literally faith, faith virtue, virtue, temperance, temperance knowledge. knowledge um, godliness, godliness godly, kindness, godly kindness, amen, amen? And, 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 and patience, amen, amen? and this, and one, this in one in the middle here, here is love, is love. and one said is, is, is God great attribute of call love, which is Jesus Christ, God, God great attribute, attribute of love, of love amen. amen, and then we have and then here, it's, it's in the mind, the mind of God, so these are so thoughts and they are in the mind of God, Amen. Amen. And the mind, and the mind of, God of God is what He's going to speak forth. The mind of God literally becomes the Word of God, the entire, the entire word, word of God, the pure Word of God. Word of God. Not, that Not that count of, 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 unbelief, of unbelief, the pure, the pure word, of word of God, the manifestation of the sons of God only, period. period. Amen. Amen. The manifestation of Jesus Christ and the sons of God, God Himself. God himself. Amen. Amen. So here is so where God, God begins to speak. He's going to take the Word and speak, and it, speak out. it out. Amen. Amen. His manifestation, his, manifestation, his sons. And this, and this is the beginning of time. Of time. This, this part is, is called sanctification. sanctification. Here God Here is going to separate himself from himself. From himself. himself. He's going to separate himself, himself his spirit, from his, from his core self. self. Amen. Which Amen. Which is the sons of manifestation of his attributes. His attributes. And by, and by doing, doing that, that it's called sanctification. Why is it called sanctification? Because Sanctification, sanctification is, is, is cleanse, cleanse and set aside, set aside for service. For service. So, so and in, in this process of setting aside, aside is that, is that these, these attributes, attributes might be made manifest. manifest. The, only the only way, way that these attributes can be made manifest, 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 the only way you are made manifest today is because God took us out of Christ. Amen. The only way Christ was made manifest, God took him out of himself. Amen. In other words, nothing is made manifest outside of God's life. So we see, so we in, see a in a few minutes that everything, everything needs life, life to live, and God Himself is life. Amen. Amen. So, so it took, it took, it took the, all, the, all the attributes of God outside of Himself. himself. He, spoke he spoke them out, them out and, that and that little becomes a man. A man. A man that is man Jesus is Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. This is this not. Is not this, is this is not. Um, um, in, the in the Bible. Let me just, 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 let me give, let me give you an illustration. This whole Bible. Even the, Even the first, first the, Old the Old Testament, Testament is not an account of Jesus Christ. Christ. It's an account it's an of God as Spirit, Spirit the, Father, the Father, manifesting Himself through the Word. The word right? right? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Logos, logos manifesting manifest Himself. But, but He's manifesting manifest Himself to creation, to, creation, to men. But, but in the New, in the New Testament, Testament, in the New in Testament, the New Testament this from here is a manifestation of the sons of God. This is a manifestation of the sons of God in terms of God and his sons are literally made manifest here in flesh. Not two men, but they are made manifest in men. Amen. So the difference between God manifesting himself as a spirit being, the Logos to different people, to Abraham, he came to Abraham as Melchizedek, he came as a pillar of fire to Moses. Those are all manifestation of God to men, but never in men. But from here, Jesus Christ is being made manifest. These attributes, 
these attributes here a little bit being made manifest in in this section. This section. Amen. Amen. In this section, in this section of, of the book of life. life. And, this, and these these attributes, attributes here, here Jesus, Christ Jesus Christ was made manifest. manifest. He, Jesus, Jesus Christ took over the, take over the whole volume, volume of the book. Amen. Amen. Je he came, came as in Melchizedek, came in a different form, put a fire, but, but in, his in his with the sons, the sons of God is made manifest. manifest. Amen. Amen. And we, and we in here well, as well, we part of Revelation, Revelation Malachi 4, um, we part of that scripture as well. Malachi 4, 5, we read a person that the Bible referred to as, I will send you, Elijah the prophet. The you is you he's speaking to. Amen. We those sons. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to pause the video here for now, and I'm going to give, and this is going to be part one of the video, and then we're going to go more into this, where this manifestation is made manifest. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.